Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're going to look at this interesting problem of circle. The radius of the circle is 2, the lengths of AC and BC are 3 and 4 respectively. Find the length of the chord PQ. First of all, we shall focus on the right angled triangle ABC. The green side, which is the hypotenuse, can be found easily. Using Pythagoras' theorem, AB squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. Solving the equation, the length of AB is 5. Apart from that, the two sides, AC and BC, are tangents of the circle. This is the key to solve the problem. Let's O be the center of the circle. AC and BC touch the circle at the points D and E respectively. If we draw the radii OD and OE, then alpha and beta are 90 degrees. The reason is tangent perpendicular to radius. Now, we look at the blue quadrilateral ODCE. Because the three interior angles are 90 degrees, using angle sum of polygon, the fourth angle gamma is also 90 degrees. In other words, we can say that ODCE is a rectangle. This is a nice figure because we have two pairs of equal opposite sides. DC is equal to OE and CE is equal to OD. Because OE and OD are both radii, which is 2, therefore the lengths of all the four sides are also 2. So AD is equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1, and EB is equal to 4 minus 2, which is 2. We have nearly all information about the size on AC and BC. What about the lengths along AB? Let's BP equals to X and BQ equals to Y. Therefore, the length of the chord PQ is equal to X minus Y. We are going to use a really important theorem of circle. It is called the tangent secant theorem. Let's take a look at that. In the figure, AB is a tangent of the circle. ACD is a straight line cutting the circle at two points. We call it a secant of circle. Then AC times AD is equal to AB squared. If you want to know the proof of this theorem and other theorems in the second family, let me know in the comment section. I shall make a video on that. Now, we can go back to the original figure. Because BE is a tangent, BQP is a secant, so by tangent secant theorem, we have BQ times BP is equal to BE squared. That is, x times y is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. Let's call this equation 1. To solve for the two unknowns x and y, we need two equations. Let's apply the theorem again. By how? This time, we look at the tangent AD and second APQ. Therefore, AP times AQ is equal to AD squared. Let's check out the lengths of AQ and AP. Bear in mind that the hypotenuse AB is 5. From the figure, AP is equal to 5 minus x and aq is equal to 5 minus y. Put them into the equation, we have 5 minus x times 5 minus y is equal to 1 squared. Expand the left-hand side, then 25 minus 5 times bracket x plus y plus xy is equal to 1. Let's call this equation 2. We have done all the geometry. Let's move on to the algebra. Now, we can put equation 1 into equation 2. Simplify a little bit, we get x plus y is equal to 20x over 5. Let's call this equation 3. With simultaneous equations, we can solve the values of x and y, but it is not necessary. Why? Because we have the sum x plus y and the product x times y. What is our goal in this question? It is the length of pq. That's the difference x minus y. Then we can play some tricks with the perfect square identities. Consider x minus y whole square, which is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Let's add 4xy and subtract 4xy at the same time. 
So the first four terms become x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. This is a perfect square, which is x plus y whole square. Everything is ready. We can put the values of the sum and the product inside. It is equal to 384 over 25. So PQ is equal to x minus y, which is the square root of 384 all over 5. Simplify the third, the answer is 8 times square root 6 over 5. It is not as difficult as you imagined, right? If you want to know more interesting problems of geometry, please check out the links of the videos and playlists on the screen and the descriptions below. See you in next video.